Real quick before we get started, big news. Our Skull Playmats are back in stock. Go check out the website down below, playtowinmtg.com. .com. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're here to figure out which one of the new commanders from Crimson Vow is best in CEDA. So first up, we have Tyler on the Gitrog Milster, a.k.a. Grawlnock. Nate is on Old Chain, an old Rusty and Food Chain deck. Cameron's on Dishonorable Anya, World Gorger combo. And I'm playing Scepter Consult Toxrill. <laughs> Draw for turn. Ancient Tomb. Lose two life to cast an Arcane Signet. I will say go. Draw for turn. Play it Bayou. Cast a Chromox. Imprinting Elvish Mystic. Cast Talisman of Resilience. Pass the turn. I'll get a draw. Crack a Bloodstained Mire. Badlands. Mana Crypt. Dark Confidant. And then pass. Draw a card. Scalding Tarn. Crack it. Underground Sea. Cast Mox Diamond. Discarding Cephalid Colosseum. Cast Mana Vault. I'm also going to cast a Mox Opal. Oh my fuck. That's all I got. Pass my turn. Untap. Draw. Seed of the Synod. Losing two life from Ancient Tomb. Cast the Frog. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Pass the turn. Untap. I'll keep. I will draw. Cast my commander. Old Rustin. I will mill a card. Get a blood. 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 Pass the turn. I'll get a Mana Crypt Trigger. Odds I take damage. Of course, it's a five. And we're going to reveal a Chrome Mox to the Dark Confidant. Draw a card. Cast the Chrome Mox and put a Blood Pet under it. Great Furnace. Faithless Looting. I draw it. Two, discard, Urborg, and a mountain. Cast my commander, Anya. Blood. Pass. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw a card. Forbidden Orchard. Give Tyler a 1 1. Make a black. Cast Cabal Ritual. Make three black. Cast Toxrill. I'm going to go to my end step. Trigger Toxrill. Yeah, they all get Negwa Negwin. Fine. Dark Confident die. And this also dies. So I will get two slugs. Pass. All right, so a couple things. Number one, my favorite thing about CDH is that everyone can play your commander on turn two. It doesn't matter who it is, everyone's playing their commander on turn two. Also, Forbidden Orchard in Toxrill is like secretly weirdly funly good. Every spirit that you give, eventually I'm just gonna kill and get it back into a slug. I really like that. Yeah, we didn't talk about that during the set review, but that is a really nice combo. It's very right there. small, but it's just you get to basically your forbidden orchard gets to make you slugs instead. Ah! And the cabal ritual. I know I don't need to cast the cabal ritual here, but I'm holding up counter magic. If you couldn't have guessed why I did that, we all guessed. We all, we we all, all knew, knew that, right? You all understood why I, I did that. I stared at that <laughs> island and I made sure the table <laughs> fucking knew you had something. Untap. Draw for turn. Move to combat. Nate, I'm going to come at you with a 2-2 two -two frog. On attack, I will mill three things. Swan Song would have been really nice a while ago. Wow, that sucks. A lot of them would have been really nice. This goes to exile. Cast this Chrome Mox. Imprint Exploration. City of Traders. Leave one floating. Cast an Oko Thief of Crowns. Stinking. I'm just trying to think if I should kill myself over this. Please kill yourself over this. I mean, I'm just going to make a food token. I don't know what you're worried about. Cast a Mana Consultation. Oh. I'll name Force of Will. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Nothing too relevant. Now let's not try not to exit my whole library. That's the Oracle. It's gone. There it is. All right. I'll cast Force of Will, pitching Flusterstorm, losing a life. I have no response to that. I'm hellbent. Losing two life, cast a Grim Monolith, and then I will pass the turn. End step, Toxtril. More slime. Untap, upkeep, I will draw. Zodic Orchard, I'll pass the turn. End step, Toxtril. Frog dice. I get another slug. My turn. Odds I take damage. Taking more damage. Draw for my turn. Make two colorless and use one for a Mana Vault. Jessica's Will. Both targeting Nate for the mana, because he's the only one with more than three cards in hand. Four red and two colorless, and then I get to exile... Diabolic Intent, a Lotus Petal, and a Land. Cast the Petal. Cast an Underworld Breach. Oh, baby. It seems good, right? It seems good. Crack the Lotus Petal for a black mana, and then cast an Entomb. I Entombed World Gorger Dragon. World Gorger Dragon, exile three lands from your graveyard. Dark Confidant from the graveyard. I was really in between casting the Dark Confidant from my graveyard or going for another Jessica's Will for more mana and more cards. But the Diabolic Intent, which needs to go get me the reanimator piece that I need, has to sacrifice a creature. And it can't be Anya, because I need Anya in play to win. I can still play this land for turn. Play it for black. Cast the Diabolic Intent, sacrificing the Dark Confidant. Cast Animate Dead. I'm going to target the World Gorger Dragon. World Gorger triggers on the stack. I'm about to blink everything. Slaughter pack. Yeah, I'm very blown out. So then World Gorger will die and then all my stuff is exiled. That's why I hate World Gorger Dragon. <laughs> all right, well. So you have an end step still. Slime counter on your 
thing which will kill it. Oh, I will get another slug. Untap. Mana Vault. Lose a life off of it. Draw card. Let's go to combat. I think I'm going to send all of it at Nate. Forbidden Orchard, I'll give Tyler a 1-1. One, one. Sacrifice a slug to draw card. I'll play Gemstone Caverns as my land for turn. Pass turn. End step. Kill that thing. Make a slug. Untap. Turn. I'm just going to pass the turn without doing anything. End of your turn. Sack the blood. Discarding Grimanos. Untap. Pay for my pack. Draw for turn. Land for turn. Command tower. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Ooh. All right. I'll cast a Jeweled Lotus. Pass the turn. End step. I'll sacrifice a slug to draw a card. Mana Vault. I'll lose life. Draw a card. Go to combat. Seven at Nate and three at Tyler. Sacrifice one of these slugs to draw a card. I'm going to respond. Okay. I'm going to cast Snapcaster Mage. We're going to target Worldly Tutor. I'm going to cast Worldly Tutor. I'll cast Wash Away. Sure. I will draw a card. Pass turn. And slip. Nice. And slip. Draw. P3 and cast Solve the Equation. I'm going to find Finale of Devastation. Cast Finale of Devastation for X equals 2. That is such a pain in the ass. It's not Hermit Druid. It's Gilded Drake. Thousand percent it's Gilded Drake. I'll give you a 1 1 with the Forbidden Orchard. Cast Dramatic Reversal. Untap Mana Vault, Mox Opal, and Mox Diamond. Use Mox Opal and Mox Diamond to sacrifice a slug and draw one card. Nope. This really sucked, and I was very hesitant about doing this play here. I really want to try to stop this Finale of Devastation at all costs because I know Gilded Drake is coming from it, but I actually have Shred Memory in my hand, which tutors for Isochron Scepter, mm. and I have the Dramatic Reversal in my hand. So technically, I could set that combo up for next turn, but... If my commander is Gilded Drake, then I can't actually do anything with that mana. Your creature should be untapped here, too. Oh, yeah. So you had blockers up for days. Son of a gun. If I was afraid of the Gilded Drake, I should have just waited until the trigger was on the stack and then sacked my Toxtrol to itself to draw a card. Go for it. I will get a Gilded Drake. Gilded Drake's ETB is going to target Toxwell for sure. Yep, I got nothing about that. I will move to unstep. Yep. Your two slugs become my two slugs, basically. Dope. Nate, you're up. Unstep. I'll keep, I will draw. I'm going to play my land for turn as City of Brass. Necropoans. I'm going to go eight. Go to unstep. Slime counter. Go to my hand. Would you exile? Arbor Elf. Cabal Pit. Soul Ring. My turn. Draw for turn. Great. Pass the turn. Get a counter on this and it dies and you get a slug. Hell yeah. Untap. Draw a card. I'm gonna cast Phantasmal Image. We're gonna we're just gonna see. We're just gonna see what happens. I'll have Phantasmal Image enter as a copy of Toxrel. I'll play a Clearwater Pathway as my land for turn. I'll go to end step. So I have a trigger that will go on the stack for Toxrel, and you have a trigger that will go on the stack for Toxrel. So first, yours will resolve. Yep, your guy gets a slime counter. My has one slime counter and is smaller. Then mine resolves. Slime counter. Four things die, which means I get four slugs. Okay, go ahead, fast turn. Active player, non-active player, order. That's why, right? That's what's going on here. We're pretty sure this is how it works. We think. Untap. Draw. Move to end step. Yours goes on the stack first, then mine goes on the stack. Yours resolves. I get a slime counter. I get a slime counter. My things die, and you get slugs for each one of my things that dies. Okay. Neat. Oh. I never attacked Nate. That's a shame. God damn it, Tyler. We just did this last fucking week, right? I th we just went through this. Untap. Just get my draw. Land for turn. Allosaur shot. Go sack. My blood stain. Boreal Druid to cast Cabal Ritual. I'll cast a spell on the Cabal. Okay. Speaking of things we just went through, Tyler <laughs> may be repeating the same mistakes over and over again, but I will not be not dispelling the Cabal Ritual every time here going forward. Uh, that we, I already messed that up in a, in a video prior. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going to pay three. Four. Cast Diabolic Intent. Sack Boreal Druid to Diabolic Intent. I have to pay one more. Go to my hands up. Mine go on first, and then yours, Toxtrol counters go on stack. Yep. You'll put a, one on mine, and then I'll put one on yours, and yours will die, and I'll take them. There's an additional one now because of... Alice or Shepard also die. Exile, Eternal Scourge. Go ahead. Alrighty, I get a draw. I really wish this was a Black Lotus. Pass the turn. End step. Mine will go on first, then yours go. Yours will go, and mine will get smaller, and then you'd get them, and then mine would resolve, and I would get them back. Untap. Draw card. When Allosaurus died, we should both have created a slug. So you should have this. Then they would start moving together again. This was a very insane draw. I will cast Gilded Drake. That is really funny. I'm going to try and mana drain your Gilded Drake. It is mana drained. Nate, I'm going to attack you. I'll send them all. That's fine. I die. I'm going to give you a spirit with the Forbidden Orchard. Sacrifice a slug to draw card. I'll sacrifice another slug to draw card. Tap the mana vault for a Demir Signet with one floating. And use that one floating with uh, two to make a Demir. And sacrifice another slug to draw card. <sighs> now I'm uh, tapped out for you to do whatever you want. Uh, so pass turn, end step triggers. Mine will go first, yours will resolve first. I get them, then yours resolves. Then you get these three plus one for the Forbidden Orchard. Untap, draw. I have two mana floating from the mana drain. Pass the turn, end step. Yours goes on first, then mine goes on. So mine resolves first, then yours resolves. Mine gets smaller, and these get... 
Go to my turn. All right. Play Graven Karen. Pass the turn. End step. Mine dies. Now yours resolves. They get a slime counter, but there's nothing saying they get Nig 1, Nig 1 from that slime counter. I still have a Tox Reel. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. So these all have a slime counter on them. This has 7. Go to my turn. Untap. Lose one from the Mana Vault. Draw a card. I'll transmute Shred Memory. Two drop, which is Resculpt. I will cast Resculpt on your Tox Reel. I will Veil of Summer. I'll give you a 1-1 one, one Spirit with the Forbidden Orchard. In response to Veil, I will cast Tainted Path. If you remember, Thassa's Oracle has been exiled from my library. If you're wondering why I just didn't shred memory for Thassa's Oracle when I had the Tainted Pact in hand, that's the reason. Pass it on Tainted Pact. <laughs> Let's Tainted Pact. Let's get rid of the whole fucking the Cormus Bell. <laughs> a little spicy treat. Pact of Negation. All right, I'll stop at Pact of Negation, exile these cards, and cast Pact of Negation on Veil of Summer. Yep, Pact resolves. You get a blue 4-4. Four, four. Pass my turn. Draft turn. It is not a cyclonic. Pass my commander for six. Losing two life. Play Yavimaya Coast and City of Traders goes to Graveyard. Move to combat. I'm gonna attack you for seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. I'll take ten. And I will pass the turn. I'm gonna draw. Spire of Industry, and we're gonna cast a grinding station here. We're gonna pass the turn. Untap. Five mana for my Pact of Negation. Lose a life for Mana Vault. Draw card. Prismatic Vista. Imperial Seal. I'll lose two and go tutor. It's gotta be this. I will shuffle and pass my turn. All right, untap. I will draw off for turn. Comet, attack you for 13, including frog, and I will get a frog trigger. Mystic study, mana vault, and cavern of souls go to croak zone. I'm at nine. Play cavern of souls naming wizard. Cast this rhystic study. Cast this mana vault as well. Then I will pass turn, though I think Cameron might not be passing on my end step. No, I will for right now. I'll draw. For right now, I'm going to pay a life, and I'm going to... I put Toxic Delusion on top, if you don't want to mill me. Well, that means I don't want to cast this spell I was about to cast. Okay. Well... Um, pass the turn. Lose one from Mana Vault. Draw a card. Cast Toxic Deluge. X is four. Lose four life. Are you paying an extra one? Yes. Sure. Good with that. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Cast a Concordant Crossroads. Cast Girl Knock. I'm going to pay one green and cast a Flinthorn Elves. Has haste. Of course! <laughs> so fucking bad. Get fucked by a mana dork. All right, move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to attack you for four. Frog trigger. That's so funny. Croak Zone is getting a Hermit Druid and a Thassa's Oracle. <laughs> that is funny. It's great. Yeah, I die. Miscast was in my hand. I am going to play a Guy's Cradle as land for turn. And then Cameron, I will pass to you. Not even doing Hermit Druid? Yeah, but I couldn't have cast the Thassa's Oracle. Hermit... Oh! All the fast mana. That's why it's in the fucking deck. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I got the only cards I need. Guess I'll do it next turn. Yeah, you're right. You can do it right now. Anyone else screaming at their screen right now? Wow. I, that is so embarrassing. I have Soul Ring. I drew Soul Ring for turn. Make a black. I'm going to feed the swarm your commander and lose four. Very well, very well. Try to win on your next turn. I don't know if I have enough mana to recast him. I don't think you do. Seven, eight, nine. Draw land. Untap. I'll lose one life. Draw off for turn. That's right, silly. All right, well, he didn't slam a land, so. Yeah. I I sure didn't. So you're saying there's a chance. Lab man from hand. Losing two life. Cast a Mystic Remora. Pass the turn to you. I guess I could have swung with lab man. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Necropotence? Uh, Mystic Remora trigger? Rhystic study I'll trigger? I'll pay for Rhystic study, but I can't pay for Mystic Remora. Necropotence is good by me. I have to pay 20 at least. We're going to do 21. Moving to end step. Flash in an endurance. Okay. Of course. I'm going to target your graveyard. I hope this is a really, really fucking good seven. Yeah, because you're dead on board. Yeah, and I didn't get uh, either of those things that I needed either. So I'm just, I am just dead here. Cameron, I will attempt to attack you for six. I should have just done 20. Why didn't I just do 20? All that, and it came down to combat damage. <laughs> it didn't come down to combat damage. I paid... 20 life. <laughs> it, it came down to poor Necropones managing from both you and Nate. Because if you remember, True. Nate also Necroed for a shit ton. We kind of egged him on to Necro for more. And he yeah. ended up losing a combat damage. Same thing with you. I mean, Toxreal kind of completely skewed this game from turn two on. Uh, basically changed the entire landscape to the game. Made everything about Toxreal. At least to us, it seemed like we had to deal with the Toxreal. Everyone had to work on the Toxreal. Kind of had to screw the rest of their plans. Uh, and then when that's the case... I guess the, the blue-green deck gets to just outvalue everyone. He's got Mystic Remora. He's got all this mana. Tyler was just able to kind of outgrind us and attack us until we're dead. And he's not using his life as a resource. So Probably the most real out of the four that we're showing, followed by Toxrail. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I think this deck is a real deck. The tricky part is there are about a billion other blue-green commanders that are really good, and they're all maybe 15 to 20 cards different. Is this one any better than any of those? Is this better than Kinnon? I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's a direct comparison like that. Isn't it have to be? But 
This deck can do a lot of busted things. Like we said in the set review, being able to turn Hermit Druid and Inquisition into even more powerful cards is a great spot to be. And when you're surrounded by that blue-green shell, you're, you're, in a, you're in a good spot. That's it. You're in a good spot. How do you feel about Old Rustine? We didn't get to see Old Rustine actually pull off a, a combo attempt, but um, I mean, it's a food chain deck. It's going to win in food chain ways. I didn't actually end up building the version of this deck that uses Titans. I actually use uh, Dread Return on Endurance, and then uh, with Dryad's Revival, I'm able to get back a Yagmoth's Wheel so I can mill through my deck like one full and a half times, which is like basically infinite, so you don't need like the 10 and 11 drops from the Titan. You can do kind of the same thing. It'll get you like 40 to 45 charges your tokens a lot of the time yeah and you'll you'll be making at least 21 ones and you'll be able to yagmats will back your uh finale of devastation and give them all trample and haste there's so many better red black decks that we've already discussed that you should play over new anya probably croxa i think is the best specifically yes. because you can use the mana afterwards meaning yes. you can use all that infinite mana and then reanimate something else and then just cast croxa a bunch of times from your right. command zone you don't have to already have it out in play Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $50 patrons. Unforeseen God, Good Friday, Samuel Warner, CZ, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Tommy the Oddball, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Cameron James, Jormags, Jimmy Midnight, Mad Matt 667 Baby Jeebus, Mario 13 HDZ, and Moxfield. Thanks, y'all. Check out our bonfire store for our t-shirts and all of our other cool merch, too. If you want to check out any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Our Alter Sleeves affiliate link gets you 5% off, so check that out, too. You can check out our website, playtowinmtg.com, which has... Playmats! Skull Playmats are back in stock. You can go get them at the website down below. Go buy them. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>